But this one actually does make my screen go white. The um, the GUI one didn't. But remember to keep this open once again. And what you're going to do is to execute um, a few codes yourself. As you can see here. So what I'm going to do is you've got to do them one at a time. Remember. Because you are directed into the I recovery. What you need to do. So you copy and paste and do it one by one by one. Not as a bunch. One by one. Okay. Remember that. So I'll be um, coming back once I've done them all. Resume. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so uh, what I have done is type them in event, uh, individually. As you can see that I made a mistake of pressing enter again. So don't rush it like I did. Um, and enter all the codes. I have not pressed enter yet. I've just typed in exit. So if I click back onto it. And it says closing USB connection. Okay, so what we're going to do now is open up your iTunes. <coughs> Sorry about that. Right, and it should come up. Yep. Now, what you're going to do is hold Shift, the button above Control, hold it, click Restore. Now, what we're going to do is go to uh, mm -hmm, Xpone then to our custom restore and this should include Cydia and installer and let it do its thing um, I just hope I don't get any errors <laughs> I hope but um, it's going to take quite a few it's going to take quite a while uh, my screen at the moment is white so I'm um, going to come back in a minute and it's just gone black and it's just came you know, gone off and on, and that was the Apple logo, so it looks like it's doing it. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, people, it said it's done it successfully, but what happens at the end, this is where it's sort of bricked. Um, it says USB not recognized under here, which has already happened. Uh, that is normal. Make sure that is normal. Okay, and you won't be able to turn it on. This is what I said, it's kind of semi bricked, um, so you don't even bother turning it on. What you need to do is put it into DFU mode again. Okay. The second you will get USB not recognized pop up is if you've held onto the buttons too long. Okay, so at the state that it's in at the moment, you can still put it into DFU mode. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try that right now. I've still got that up, which you need up because you're going to be putting in some codes in a minute. So it's exactly, exactly 10 seconds. Release, hold for. 10 odd seconds onto the home button afterwards until it's recognized into iTunes. Okay, so I'm going to be counting in my head. As you can see, it's now gone into recovery mode. Um, make sure it's 10 seconds, and after that, I think, I don't know what that was like, 10 seconds again, or 15, 20 seconds that uh, are held onto the home button afterwards. So, now what you do now, is now it recognizes, it is, uh, recognizes the iPod in uh, the computer itself. So, going back to this, we're going to put another code. Okay, so that code that you need to put in, um, is the code that you have used before this code here, the iRecovery minus F IBSS um, code. Make sure that you've still got the same CMD um, open or make sure that you have got it check in or go into the iRecovery SVN folder. Okay, so as it is going to that directory, go paste, click enter. Okay, now it says closing USB. This is where it's going to go white again. So we unplug. One, two, plug it back in. It's gone to a white screen. And that is perfectly normal. Now it's detected it into USB again. Make sure CMD is still open. And now I think what we're going to do is to put this in. And I'm just going to double check. But it's going to be putting these code in one by one again. Okay, that is correct. You have to put this in one by one into your CMD. Um, make sure you st it's still going to the iRecovery SVM folder. This is booting at this stage here. Okay, there is a program called uh, Hitboot um, or Hitboot 
hit booter or you can use the program that I said about the Cyword and use it from a stage onwards okay so make sure that you are um, using it do it manually first the way that I'm doing it here on CMD type in each one of these codes one by one and it's a bit different as you can see it's got a different code in this one and it's pretty much the same just from that one code and um, do it manually first time then you can use hit booter afterwards there has been problems where they can't let it boot so yeah I'll be back after I've typed all these ones in one by one okay I am typing in the last command uh, when you put in the send file one there um, it does a bit of code as well so exit okay so now still keeping this up it's at white screen and that is perfectly normal make sure it's come back into um, it should disappear for a second and come back um, but as you can see it's recognized by iTunes okay so now simply with this still in the iRecovery we are going to put this code in we're going to do it one by one I just find that a lot easier paste and this boots it up again um, I think it's the stage before as well that boots it so once um, or every time that you have to restart it and there you go it's booting up as you well as I can see here uh, and it is going to the Windows logo as we speak and we should be on a jailbroken 2.21 firmware with Cydia and installer okay I know this is a long way around it and um, you know there's been problems but this way has worked finally there we go, slide to unlock, dismissed, and I have installer and Cydia. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. Um, I may do another one using the other program at some point. Okay, more coming soon. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you soon.